Well, it's a very exciting time for me because um, uh, much of my time is spent proselytising about CSR, whether it's within Europe or on behalf of Europe outside. Uh, but that is only based on getting the product right, as anyone in business knows. And the product, in terms of my report I've written now, is going through the parliamentary process. And what I hope it's going to add to the debate is one, to support the new direction of the European Commission. They've got a, 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 an ambitious, a broad, uh, a comprehensive approach to different CSR activities that I think we should embrace and we call on businesses to embrace. So I have no hesitation in giving it our backing. Uh, but at the same time, I want to uh, renew the impetus given to CSR by saying at this time of economic crisis, at this time when some people in advance would have said CSR would be questioned amongst business, in reality, CSR is the way out of this crisis and there will be no sustainable businesses unless they are part of a sustainable economy. I really feel that having a, a different summit and a recent EU summit wasn't as successful as I'm sure CSR Europe's is and will be uh, for Enterprise 2020 is that CSR is working. Um, of course there is much more to do, of course we want huge increase in both the numbers of companies engaging with CSR and the uh, much greater impact from those that are already engaging. But if I think back five and ten years when CSR strategies were being published for the first time by companies, uh, 10 and 15 years when CSR Europe and its predecessor organisation was being established, everyone said CSR is new, we're not quite sure, don't box us in, um, just leave it to us. And we're now in a position where there is a mature debate where businesses together through peer review and CSR Europe plays an important part in doing that, can help each other to gain. And where now there is an acceptance in the European Commission uh, and throughout our continent that the multi-stakeholder approach works, that public organisations, including the European institutions themselves, have a seat at the table uh, and want to be partners with business in these endeavours. And that at this time of, yes, economic challenge, but still enduring social and environmental challenges, we can't do it without business and I think people in business understand that and that is the impetus that is driving us all forward.